What's going on guys, Mr. Game is back again for another drift build. This time we've gone for the old school VW Beetle. Um, I must say this thing does drift rather well. Uh, as for styling, as you can sort of see there, we've got rid of the chrome. I've kept the chrome, I've put chrome wheels on it obviously, but yeah, we've got rid of the chrome bumpers on the front and the rear. I've added the roof rack on top. Um, and if we head on over into the tuning upgrades, just over here, I'll run through what we've got on. Uh, as for engine, I've kept it stock. I haven't bothered putting a turbo onto it. That's totally up to you. Um, I can't see why it won't work with the turbo strapped on. I just didn't feel it needed it. It's a very light car. It's obviously rear-engined rear as well, so obviously the weight is all sitting at the back of the car. So I just did not feel it needed the extra, extra power of the turbo. Um, obviously with all the engine upgrades we've gone maxed out, same with the handling, everything in there is maxed, same with the drivetrain. If we head on over into the tyres and rims here, we've gone for a 17 inch wheel. The wheels that I have used, I believe are called Smoothie. Let's have a look. Yeah, there they are guys, Smoothie. They're the ones, if you want them, that's where they are. And if we head on back to the tyre sizes for the rear. We've gone max, which is the 24540s. And on the front, what did we go for? The 215s. What, this is the setup that's working. And as for the tyre compound, we have gone for sport tyres. Um, I, I really did want it to work with the stock ones, obviously, because of the little white ball around the edge. But it just kept spinning out. I couldn't, I couldn't seem to get it to work for me. You lot might be able to take my tune and tweak it a little bit to work with it. Maybe take some power out of the actual car because it just, just spins and spins. It just spins around all day long. Uh, and as for the tune-up that we have on this, I shall quickly run through all this. Here's the tyres, guys. Obviously, just copy this onto yours. I'm not going to run through it all. I'll just go along with each section. Just pause it where you need to and then obviously you can just copy it over to yours. So there's the tyres. Oh, I'm changing things now. Gearing, alignment, anti-roll bars, springs, dampening, aero, obviously you can't touch that anyway, depending on what bumper you put on and rear spoiler, you might be able to touch this and if you want to change the settings up a bit, you can. There's the braking, that's how I've got it. I've got a 20% in balance to the rear and 150 pressure. There's the acceleration as well. Like I say, this, this is the tune-up that I managed to get to work. Bearing in mind it looks a little bit different to what I normally do, only because it's rear engine, so obviously there's a lot of weight on the rear. It's just, just trying to get it to grip when you're actually drifting, so it doesn't spin out. But, it just seems to handle really, really well at the moment. I can chuck it around, as you'll see in this video that's now about to come up.
liked this video guys and it's helped you, obviously hit that like button, drop a comment down below and let me know if it actually did work for you as well. Um, and if you could please also share the videos guys. I want to try and hit 100 subscribers before Christmas. I'll catch you next time.